everyone, tonight I'm here at Magic Kingdom because Happily Ever After officially starts today, comes back today. Today is April 3rd or 4th, I might be wrong. I got here an hour before fireworks start and I'm gonna see if I can find a good spot because honestly, it might be pretty busy today. I don't know yet. Or I might get a coffee first. I'm debating. Should I get a coffee first? And then I have other things that I want to do after.
after a fireworks show, it's nice to have some empty space. But if you don't notice behind me, the castle does not have the 50th logo anymore on it. So that's it, no more 50th, and now we're celebrating the 100 Years of Wonder. So let's go see if there's more merch for the 100 Years because I'm sure there's a lot more now. Okay, so I made it in the store, and look, they have all the Orange Bird stuff. Wasn't this stuff like sold out at Epcot? I'm pretty sure, right? They have the ears here, they have the hat, they have the spear jersey, and then they have the shorts. That's a really cute set. It's very like 70s orange. I don't know if that's a color, but 70s orange, if you know what I mean. <laughs> also, if you're still wondering if they have all the 50th merch, they still have, looks like all of it. I don't see anything missing from this room, right? Everything looks the same. Okay, now we're in the 100 Years of Wonder merch section, which seems like the most popular section, to be honest with you. Um, it looks like it's like kind of the same stuff from Disneyland. It doesn't seem any different except these. I don't remember seeing these with the 100 emblem. Like, it's like real metal, like really, really shiny. I love this. It's really cute. They have this long sleeve. That's really cute, but it's not Florida weather approved but it's $45 oh my god they have the jacket should I get it now they only have a few left every time they put these jackets out they sell out like hotcakes they're so popular so this is the aftermath of one of the most popular fireworks shows here in Walt Disney World everybody's leaving they all came for the fireworks show just like me and now they're like peace out all right so no luck on the merch. It looks like it's kind of just the same stuff that I've seen at Disney Springs. But watching Happily Ever After honestly was making me like super emotional. <laughs> I was trying to laugh the whole way through it because all I could keep thinking about was how much I miss my Disney buddy, but I have a surprise. So normally to leave the park, I would go to the boat. But we're going on to the left side where the monorail is. A pretty monorail and we're gonna head to the bus area hopefully that's enough of a hint that you need for the surprise do you guys see him look at my working little cast member look at him he's uh, doing what's called audience control obviously he's controlling the audience so Lewis was really busy and right now I'm on my way to Disney Springs before they close because I want to see if there's anything new. There wasn't anything in the store and I'm kind of disappointed in that. It was just kind of the same stuff. So now I'm like rushing to get to Disney Springs so we can see if there's anything else. If there's not, it's okay. At least we ran. <laughs> so I made it to Disney Springs and it was a mission. They decided to close the Lime Garage. My luck, right? <laughs> so I had to run from Orange Garage. But we made it. So let's go see if there's any new merch, because if there's not, I don't know. I'm gonna get something to drink, like a Powerade from the Speedway across the street then. All right, so we got something new. I have not seen this backpack, at least here at Disney Springs or World of Disney or Walt Disney World. But like I said, a lot of the 100 year stuff, they just brought it over here. And look, they have the ears that we showed at Magic Kingdom. I actually did see this backpack but it was complete chaos in there, so I wanted to avoid it at all costs. But so far, it kind of looks like the same stuff. Ooh, okay. So this is new, like for sure. Oh my goodness. Look at these little chains. Usually when they do these little like, they look like Funko Pops a little bit. They usually do it for Pixar, but this is like for all the characters. And then they have like a sweater. They also have these button-ups that is like literally the same pattern. It's really light. See this, this material, good for humidity. And then these are the displays. There's the hoodie, there's the shirt, and then there's the backpack. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, they have the Baymax one. I remember me and Louis, when we were at Animal Kingdom, I told him when this Baymax Squishmallow came out. Squishmallow? 
not a Squishmallow, <laughs> a Munchling, came out. Everybody was obsessed with it because it smelled like s'mores and it looks like Baymax. It's so freaking cute. And it's super soft and squishy. I would smell it, but I'm sure everybody, probably 10,000 people have smelled this Munchling. That's what's called a Squishmallow again. So I did notice that they had these ears that are new. And if you didn't know, they just announced the Moana live action movie. But they're so cute. They're so cute. And I love that it has like, like the, with the plants, like the fake plants. And my luck again, no price. But if you saw, I think our last Magic Kingdom vlog, I mentioned that anything that doesn't have a price is $35. Doesn't have a price? I'm assuming it's $35. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, should I get it? Oh my God, should I get it? Oh my God, should I get it? Oh my God. I've been wanting this jacket. Oh my God, and it feels so nice. I'm so tempted to get it. Let's see how much it is. 60 bucks. Oh my God, it's so cute though. This really goes with like any outfit. And then I see this tank top over here. I'm pretty sure it's for little kids. But this is new. Look how cute this is. If they made this an adult, I'm sure a lot of girls would, would get this shirt. This is probably the cutest sweatpants set that I've seen. I really love this green color. It's so cute. And then they have like a, a hat that matches it. Now, I'm not a big fan of the hat, but the sweatpants suit, a thumbs up. Oh my God. And they even have the cardigan that matches my sweater vest. This whole collection is adorable. It's so cute. Even the water bottle is cute. Let's see this is $23 and the cardigan is 80 bucks but it's really soft to be honest with you and it's like really comfy my sweater vest is probably one of the best things that I've ever bought because the material is really soft it's not thick like uncomfortable but it's thick like you know it's gonna be sturdy so if you're thinking about getting these they're they're sturdy and they're soft if that matters to you so I'm not too sure if you all know this but they decided to do another vault collection for the 100 Years of Wonder. And I believe this Tinkerbell one is a part of it, but look at how pretty it is. Look at how pretty she looks. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. And then it's like detailed with the gold on the straps, the gold on the top. I like that it's like probably one of my favorite parts of Tinkerbell, like in the movie from Peter Pan is when she's like in the little room where she keeps getting pushed in with like all the little thimbles and all the paper clips and stuff like that. So this is my favorite part. So I really like this, it's really cute. Officially, all the 50th merch is gone from this area. It's just Pixar now, which is cool. Oh my God, this backpack is so cute. Stop it. This is cute and it's really big and I really like the forky button up. Oh, it's like Toy Story, but look it. It's so summer. I love this. 60 bucks. Oh my God, I love that. That is so cute. And then I see the new backpack. Literally me and my coworker were just talking about this backpack today because we thought it was so cute, like the shape. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so cute. Oh my goodness. And it has like a little strap. Do you guys see that? So you guys can close the backpack. So it kind of keeps its shape. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And then a little coin purse, but it's the Pixar ball. So if you're looking for this bag, it's here in the, where the old 50th section used to be, but now it's Pixar section. So if you're looking for it, it's gonna be right here. Oh my God, you guys need to see how cute this tumbler is. Oh my goodness. This is probably one of the cutest Toy Story collections that I've ever seen because it's like summer, summer, summer. If you guys know where that's from, let me know. <laughs> because it's one of my favorite movies. But the tumbler is 23 bucks. And look, this is totally a venti. For 23 bucks, that's cute and worth it. I think it's cute. Oh my goodness, and they have a cute little lemonade set with like the little pitcher and the cups. Where is this? It's so cute though. Oh my goodness. And they have another summer shirt. Oh, but this has the aliens on it and the Pixar ball. This shirt, I'm gonna be really honest with you, feels really rough compared to the other one that I saw on the other side. So I don't know if this one's cheaper because it's like a, I guess you would say, no, it's the same price. 
What the heck? This one definitely feels like more rough. Like it does not feel as soft as the yellow one. So I found the pitcher and it's so much cuter in person. The cups fit inside the pitcher. Isn't that so cute? The pitcher is 40 bucks and it comes with the cups. Oh my God, that is so cute. And then they also have these plates. They're doing like a whole summer thing because look at over here. See, this is why I wanted to come to Disney Springs because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Magic Kingdom probably has one of the worst options when it comes to merch sometimes because everybody goes there. So it gets out, it sells out like really quickly. But when you come to Disney Springs, there's always like a little bit of something, even if it's the co-op store. So if you're looking for something, always come to Disney Springs, go to the co-op store and then go to all the parks. You know what I mean? But yeah, look at it. They have like a whole summer collection. This is definitely new. There's a spirit jersey and it says, reach for the fries. That's cute. And then there's that backpack again. Are you guys serious right now? Do you know what this is? This is to hold your beer. <laughs> it's like one of those, um, if you've ever seen at Total Wine, they have these. It's literally the same thing. It's an insulated holder for your beer can or soda can, I guess, if you get a tall, skinny soda can but it's 20 bucks. You just know that I had to show the dog merch because it's adorable, adorable. French fries, a cheeseburger, a buzzin burger, and an ice cold summer. But it's a three piece toy set for 25 bucks. You know me, I'm always buying stuff for my dogs. So I'm contemplating this, but I really love the backpack. But the backpack, I totally forgot to tell you how much the backpack costs. It's 88 bucks. I also wanted to show you guys, I'm kind of glad I came over here because it looks like they have Little Mermaid merch. I'm not too sure what this is, but it's pretty. <laughs> and it's $80. Oh, it's a light. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Oh, look, somebody lifted that one. It's a light. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And they have a little like teapot set. Oh, that's how the light looks. I wonder, are you able to take the light? <gasps> you can take the light from the actual piece. I wish it turned on so I could show you guys. So it's like you're carrying the pearl. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. That is so cute. And then they have, I think this is a blanket or a towel. Oh, it's like a beach towel. So you guys can like put this on the floor at the beach and then you don't get any sand on you. That's really cute. And then they have this really cute pillow, but she's like a, a little bit different design. She's not like the original drawing. She's like a, she's got a wing eyeliner. And then they also have this like cake holder, I would say cupcake holder, cake holder, and then this pot. But do you guys see? She's like not the original drawing, but she's like a, I'm gonna be honest with you, like a way prettier version than the original drawing. So right before I was leaving, I saw that they had more of that collection from the Disney 100, but it, they have a big pillow, a lunch bag, which is so cute, and the perfect size too, because to be honest with you, I've seen pretty small ones. And then what is this? A bento box. Oh my goodness, this is cute. Look at it with a little strap. It like, so you can hold the both of them. And just my luck, the escalators are out of service. Okay, so we've come to a real awesome night, kind of here at Magic Kingdom and Disney Springs. I'm doing the ending here in the car because I am tired. But I did say that I was gonna get something to drink because honestly, it's really hot right now. If you're planning on coming to Florida, by the way, it's humid right now. So make sure that you guys are always staying hydrated. Remember, quote of the day, drink your water. But I got something to drink. I got something for Lewis so that when he's done with his shift, I could kind of surprise him with like a little, you know, hydrating drink and his favorite chips. But today was a really nice day and I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today and just being with me because honestly, sometimes it's a little scary to make videos by myself. I guess I, I would say I'm kind of shy. I don't really seem like it, but being on camera and when you have people watching you, it's like kind of scary, especially on a day like today with happily ever after being back which honestly i'm so happy that happily ever after came back because i wasn't a really big fan of the other show so this one was definitely giving me like the waterworks and if you guys haven't seen happily ever after i would definitely definitely recommend coming to watch it because it's just 
such a lovely show to watch with all all generations really because it just hits you in so many different ways from classic movies to new movies like Moana like we saw thank you guys so much and yeah <laughs> thanks for watching me real and the magic bye oh this is body armor by the way but thanks for watching me bye <laughs>